A star from the very beginning. Elizabeth Taylor's first movie, There's One Born Every Minute, came out when she was just 10. In the 1960s, she reigned at the box office, winning two Oscars for her roles in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Butterfield 8. Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> I really know how to express my gratitude for this and for everything. I guess all I can do is say thank you. Thank you with all my heart. It was her performance as Cleopatra, though, in 1963 that she will be best remembered for, one of the most expensive productions of the time. Her salary was a cool one million US dollars. What I feel. I should have felt long ago, when I was very young, when I could say to myself that this was how love was and how it would be. It was also on this movie that she met her fifth husband, Richard Burton. Known as much for her colourful private life as her big screen work, Elizabeth had seven husbands in total. Her longest relationship, though, was with Burton, who she tied the knot with twice after briefly getting divorced and then remarrying him. Taylor had four children with three of her husbands. Hollywood, where a new personality makes his film debut, Michael Howard Wilding, the two-month-old son of film stars Elizabeth Taylor and Michael Wilding. Reflections in a golden eye stars the Elizabeth Taylor who showed the world what a woman really is. During the 60s and 70s, Elizabeth worked with some of the biggest names in show business, including Marlon Brando and Warren Beatty. Happy birthday to you. Her wide circle of celebrity friends were out in full force at a lavish 75th birthday bash she threw in Vegas. Well, Elizabeth Taylor is a great American star, a great American beauty, just like Ava Gardner, Marilyn Monroe. She's one of our icons. And we're here not only uh, to pay her respect, but because she's a great friend. Not one to waste her star status. Upon the death of her friend, Rock Hudson, in 1985, Elizabeth began her crusade on the behalf of AIDS sufferers. A good friend of Michael Jackson, she also spoke out when the late singer was on charges of sexually abusing a child, an accusation he was later acquitted of. I've never been so angry in my life because I've been there. When his nephews were there, and we all were in the bed watching television. Uh, there was nothing abnormal about it. There was no touchy feeling. Her achievements both on and off the screen were acknowledged in 1999 when she was made a dame. For someone who lived such a high profile life, the accolade still blew her away. It is the most exciting, and I do not exaggerate, day of my life. It totally came as a surprise to me. I had no inkling. Uh, it, it was just like, what? I, I can't believe it. it. It's like, me? During her life, Elizabeth fought numerous medical problems. She broke her back five times, had both her hips replaced, survived a benign brain tumour and skin cancer, and has faced life-threatening bouts with pneumonia twice. In 2004, she was also diagnosed with congestive heart failure. She died in the early hours of the morning on the 23rd of March 2011. She was 79. Elizabeth Taylor lived life to the full and will be treasured as a true Hollywood legend. God bless you and I love you.